Hello everyone, hope everybody's doing well. Thank you again for tuning in today. Before I do get this video started, I just wanna take a moment to introduce myself and say my name is Susie, this is my channel, and I do a lot of affordable beauty and lifestyle content. So if you haven't already, please be sure to click that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. So that, And also click that notification bell down below so you can be notified of my future videos. I do post videos every Tuesday and Sunday about affordable beauty and lifestyle content that does include some vlogging here and there sometimes, lots of reviews, lots of little tips and tricks. So some really awesome info that I feel like a lot of you all can use in your life so i definitely hope you'll subscribe to my channel and i hope i'll see you here for my future videos just want to take a little quick minute to introduce myself because i do have a lot of new subscribers i just wanted to say hello and thank you so much to them for subscribing to my channel and also to my returning subscribers thank you all for always being here commenting chatting with me i love having you guys here and talking with you so in today's video, I am trying this out. This is the LA Colors Setting Spray. And I got this at my local Dollar Tree for $1.25 a couple weeks back. And I've seen it in there before. You know, I've seen it in there and I was like, yeah, you know, and I just, I would pass by it and I'd pass by it. And finally, one day I was like, why have I not reviewed this? Why have I not tried this out? I don't know this convenient little travel size bottle and it does have a little sprayer here on top it does say perfect for travel set your makeup on the go the one thing I really like about it being this size is this would be super handy to put in your purse if you're like going to work you're going out somewhere and you just want to kind of touch up maybe like your setting spray throughout the day what a great idea so yeah says lightweight non-sticky finish that's makeup for all day wear and you should apply it um, spraying about 12 to 16 inches away from your face while keeping your eyes closed number one ingredient in here is water we got propylene glycol uh, pvp aloe um, leaf extract niacinamide wow okay all right dollar tree um phenoxytonol i don't know some of these ingredients but anyway it's not a very big ingredient list on there so let's go ahead and take this out i've already done my makeup i'm i'm getting ready to go to work so honestly i'm gonna be just kind of be walking around at my job um i don't get super hot and sweaty in there um, I am going to be probably doing quite a bit of moving around today because of my um, job position that I'm doing today, but still, I think I'm going to get a fairly good wear out of this. Plus, I literally don't wash my makeup off until like 8, 8 or so at night, so I am going to be wearing this for a good 12 hours or so at least, and I've just kind of done my makeup real basic, just did a little bit of some of my favorite eyeshadow and stuff like that some blush threw it on i'm all good to go so here's the little packaging it's okay you know just says setting spray helps extend makeup wear that's about it got a little top here and then we got this little sprayer let's just kind of see how it sprays i don't know if you guys will be able to see it oh that's not bad. Okay. So got a little, little spray action going on. Not sure if there's going to be any kind of fragrance or anything weird to this, but let's try it out. So I'm just going to spray my face. I'm going to hold it about roughly like yay far from my face and spray around. So let's see. All right. So it feels very refreshing. I will say the sprayer on this is actually really good. Really good sprayer. It comes out in a nice, fine mist. It's a little bit forceful, but it's fine. You know, like it's not like squirting onto your face. It's just a really nice, nice little mist. And I, I honestly would even kind of go as far as to maybe even, um, after I'm done with this, take this little label off. And I would love to put some of my little rose water 
spray in there and just keep it in my purse. Sometimes, you know, you'd be like, it's summertime, it's hot, you know, you're just need a little freshen, just kind of spray it around. Yeah, why not? Because this does screw off, so. Anyway, I really like that. So, didn't have any fragrance to it or anything. It didn't smell weird, didn't smell bad. Didn't have that weird Band-Aid smell like this e.l.f. setting spray does. This stuff is awesome, but it smells literally like some kind of weird Band-Aid medicinal smell that I just cannot stand. And this didn't have that at all. So I actually really enjoyed it not having that fragrance. I am gonna wear my makeup throughout the day. I will come back later on and update you guys. How did it wear throughout the day? Are my eyeshadow, my makeup and everything still looking fairly good? You know, we'll just kind of see if it really actually does anything at all. So I will wear this and then I will update you guys here in a while. So see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so this is that night before washing my face. My face is not looking very good at all. My eye makeup actually looks worse than usual, which is interesting. And my face actually looks like it has hardly any makeup on it left at all. If I do have any makeup on, it looks like it's bunched up or kind of cakey and patchy. Definitely has rubbed off, and then I'm definitely feeling pretty greasy. Uh, my eye makeup is running, which is something that it typically doesn't do, so I'm not sure if the product actually caused that to happen. Either way, I would give this a 2 out of 5. It's okay. Um, I like the sprayer on the bottle, but the product doesn't do anything at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified of my future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.